All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. Millennia? Is this what Eurelo 6 has become? Uh-huh. So, that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Ugh. Spatial readout anomaly! Star rail stability is down to 12%! Schedule alteration. Seven-day stop over time, extended indefinitely. Indefinitely. Until the anomaly is removed. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a Stellaron, as always. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. Don't worry, it's not the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. But at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Eurelo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. You finally get what we're all about. Pretty cool, huh? I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! Someone has to stay on the train or Pom Pom will get lonely. Not to mention, Nanook threw us a glance just now. If we're targeted by the Antimatter Legion, then things could go south fast. <sighs> so it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for Eurelo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. doing okay after your first jump? Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. You'll feel better once you get used to it. Hmm, so you have high compatibility with the Express. That's good. I went through the Express's database. 
and it seems the environment on Urela 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. It was not a frozen planet to begin with. He said so? Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. Uh, by normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. As I expected. Before you came, whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himiko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. And even after you arrived, I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be liberated of that duty. I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Urelo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Right? I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. Did you talk to Don Hung? How'd it go? Really? I find that hard to believe. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. Well, are you ready? When I first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice, a very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average planet. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. What? Is there something on my face? Nah, I was just imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <laughs> I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. All right, here comes the Urelo 6 Trailblaze team. Urelo 6, we're here. Is one big snowball. Hey, get your own metaphor. <sighs> Snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. And then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Hmm, do you want to mention the time we smashed a hole through Tykean Stadium, or shall I? Oh, please stop bringing that up. Let's just say that landings and crowds don't mix. Unless you enjoy trailblazing through two weeks of community service. I said drop it! Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on. You've got a Stellaron in your body. I have my special six-phase ice powers. And Don Hung... Uh... He's got that mysterious past thing going for him. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. Coffee Catitis last. Let's go! 
Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of trailblazing! This place still hasn't been corroded. Yet Fragmenta monsters have already made it here. I fear the Stellaron may be exerting a significant influence on this world. It's too late to repent. Pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume! You have the worst luck running into me! The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision! Reach the end of the story in your own way. an ordinary snowdrift. Are you sure you're not seeing things? Of course not! My eyesight... It's too late to repent. Let's make it quick. Clemency? Never heard of it. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Breath won't help. I got this, March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand, or the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. Yout! My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> Is Captain Jepard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Who? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Excellent, I'll remember the name. I never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. 
Business is bad these days, but... Fear not! Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together! <laughs> Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel the main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity! Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than ten feet from a Silvermane guard. Me? You guys scared me to death. There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over. I thought the Silvermane guards were paying me a visit. Seriously, though? Try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in a snowdrift, and you'll be in a cell before you know it. Settlement? What a literary turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in this world where the living still reside. Our beloved Bellabog. The further away you get, the dicier things become. The City of Preservation, the Towering Citadel, humanity's last bastion against the Eternal Freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. The only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. You really don't know? The Silvermane Guards are Bellabog soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but... It would cost. But, but it would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Koski's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. So why were you hiding from the Silvermane guards? Yeah, I was just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, there'd be no need for secrecy. So whereabouts you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything. I just care about my friends. No pressure. Rule number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Who are they? Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? That's them. Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them. Now or never. Step aside. Over to you, dear friends. Hey, where do you think you're? Made to be broken. It's too late to repent. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> The truth of life and death, revealed in it this sanctuary. 
is better vision. Turn up the volume. You have the worst luck running into me. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Jeff, let's rock! <laughs> 